Hello and uh, welcome everybody. I uh, welcome uh, the chairman, IIP, the board of directors, uh, all distinguished guests to this IIP's uh, fourth webinar series, uh, session four. We have uh, made few guidelines for uh, the session. Uh, the guidelines are as below. Your microphone has been muted. Please do not unmute. If you're not getting clear audio, please check your internet connection and also a switch off your videos if possible, if your connection is poor. In case of any questions or problems, please drop us a text at the bottom chat window. The webinar is being recorded for the benefit of members who have not been able to attend. And question and answer session will be held in the end. Please type your questions in the chat window. We'll talk about today's session. Uh, we uh, have the session by Mr. Rajiv Jalnapurkar, uh, sir. The session is on uh, creativeness post COVID-19 in theme park industry, whether it be amusement park, water parks, or IICs. Uh, Mr. Rajiv Jalnapurkar is presently the director and chief executive officer of Ramaji Film City. Mr. Rajiv is a skillful personality with more than two decades of experience in theme park attraction, entertainment, and layer industry, and has done his graduation in layer management. He's the board manager, uh, uh, board management officer for the development of theme parks, mice, and wedding and celebrations at Ramaji Film City. He's the first vice chairman of IIP, and uh, definitely a very good friend of us. We all know him well. We have been visiting his facilities at different times, and uh, the great hospitality by Ramaji Film City. Welcome, everybody. And I'd like to, you know, give it over to the speaker. Mr. Rajiv Janlapurkar, along with Mr. Vijay, kindly take over, please. Hello, friends. I take this opportunity to thank the chairman, Mr. Ajay Sareen, and the board of directors and the staff of IAP that uh, I could talk to you in such a difficult situation. I also was quite impressed with Mr. Anuj Sareen, the training uh, chairman, that um, he could initiate the webinars. And um, we, we were more than successful to complete three. And every speaker was so good that it was my temptation that I must contribute my thoughts during this difficult time. The subject which I would like to address is creativity. Friends, we as IRP along with the chairman attended a couple of webinars with a ministers, government officials. And all these discussions was ending on one that everybody was telling us or preaching us that use this time to have creativity, use this time well, where if you once you relaunch, you will able to do something different than the what was happening in the past. Believe me, this time, nobody is in the mood to learn and accept preaching. When I sat back and started thinking, I thought that let me look at the positive side of this preaching guidance from the people from the industry, not from the industry, the bureaucrats and the ministers. And I felt Everybody talks about everything prefixed with a word called business. You know, there is a business HR, there is a business plan, there is a business projection. I said, let me let me replace the word from business to creativity. And I always feel that time will change the rules with me. I have opportunity to introduce Vijay, the creative director 
Ramuji film study and the uh, and the uh, person from the industry who was a part of a uh, Bahubali um, the blockbuster film. My friends, let me get into business. I would like to I would like to share not teach anything but what I feel about creativity in next few minutes or the time which has been permitted I would like to share with you our mission is to create an experience to the guest to enjoy we always like to take guests to the different world it could be amusement park it could be water park, it could be visitors attractions, a family entertainment center, it could be indoor, it could be outdoor, it could be nature, but we like to make the families to stay together and we create a family, a happy family. And we always believe when the families are happy, the nation is happy. Trust me, all our friends from the industry, they are Besides, besides business, they also are into this mission to make the guest happy. When you look at the mission, it always, always shows us the two coins of the industry. There is one visible side, which is, which is experience, which is visible aspect of it, where the, when you receive the guest, they take the rides, they show the attractions, they see the, 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 the other areas of water park and this experience and happiness are the memories they carry back home and they always feel that it was the best day of the life. My friends, the other invisible side of this is a, is a creativity, the engineering and the most important is operational planning. I always feel that when I compare with the movies, the backstage or the things which happened behind the screen has more importance than the things which happens on the screen. I believe and you all will accept everything is changing. The changing of customer behavior the, the current situation is everything is dynamically changing. The guest who used to be regular or frequently coming to us, 100 times he thinks stepping out of the house and think about it, that is a place safe. If my family will be safe, will I able to reach safe? So the people are all concerned about the about the spending. There was a time, my friends, you remember, we are a dependency on the school business and the groups. I don't know this year what is going to happen. Will the school authorities, the government, the, the local bodies, will they allow us to continue to get the groups? The academic pattern is changing. The academic cycle will change. Their do's and don'ts will come. There is restrictions will come or the riders will come from government, from industry, from individuals. Yes, priorities are going to change. Our capital investment and our operational cost will change. We don't know whether we'll able to maintain the same price or we'll have to change the price. We'll have to look at it that how to communicate the people to invite. So I always feel the pattern of advertisements and communication will change. I always feel today we cannot predict, but we can start thinking what is a new way of this change, which we will be ready for. But trust me, when we read the books, when we refer the newspapers, when we re refer to a lot of webinars, Everybody says that old way and new way. And I would also like to look at it, what we should be ready. How we need to address this problem? You know, 
it is one's guess that this will happen that will happen you know we look at the statistics we look at the similar historical situations the business data and we crunch the numbers everybody all of us we are all concerned with the bottom line of our business besides crunching these numbers looking the similar historical uh, statistics situations we really cannot do anything at this time but is that sufficient in the entire human history we never face this kind of a crisis this is not me but everybody is talking about it that this is something in i don't know how many years or ages this was this has not happened what we need to do let me tell you the the story what i have gone through it was wonderful accident you know uh, just before before the covid 19 i took a step forward that let us look at the entire activities of my, our theme park by a lens of creativity just to put the road map the imagining division or the creative division we started with the guidance of the management and the chairman and the board decided that let us look at our entire operations our look and feel our experiences with a new angle the thought came from the chairman and the board that why can't we look at the whole experience with a more creative way the reason were many one that the guest expectations are changing people or the guests were looking for more immersive experience the media and the technology was improving and we thought that we should look at the whole thing i of creativity you know we had a blockbuster attraction called the studio tour where we we find that 95% of the people wanted to take that we thought that how we will change it once again my friends creativity is not copying so we could inspire from anybody but we require to do because we know our target audience and we started looking at it it was shows attractions experiences and the tours i realize that just before covid 19 it was thought but it it become a blessing for us that we required to look at creativity as a need i have just shared the thoughts that you know march 1st we we developed the imagining division then the March 16th, the the Ramoji Film City lockdown started. March 25th, the wide countrywide the lockdown was on, and now we have not stopped. Our research, our innovation is on and into different angles. I feel the creativity is not optional anymore. It's a mandatory. You know. i i i saw i was witnessing for the uh, ashwin's presentation and i found that a creative thought came of the way the digital marketing was happening it has created a cost saving it has given multifold success and also it was more to the target audience than what it have been i feel creativity pays it helps when we talk about theme parks when we talk about uh, the the worldwide attractions the first name came in all of our mind is walt disney walt disney trademarked a team imaginary imaginary plus engineering is a division clear all across the world the disney parks their experiences their attractions their rides 
and their gritios that is audio visual is with produced from a imaginary division trust me what is needs to say if we have a right imaginers the engineers will able to produce where the dreams will come true now during this crisis i feel that we should think similarly for me creativity plus business is creativeness let me go back to the books and understand how the creativity is been explained here the creativity has been divided into three things one is a expertise knowledge which comprises of technical knowledge the procedurals and intellectual there are a lot of ips are available and you, if you can get the inspiration from them one can really create wonders creative thinking comprises of skills degree of flexibility and imagination imagination for me is a dreaming you know if we start imagining believe me your product your services and your communication will change completely motivation influenced by the work environment and it also has a tangible rewards when it comes to i brought this communication just to explain it to you that worldwide creativity has a different value which we as a parks really never thought about it we are creative i have seen lot of parks and attractions to their level they have tried to do the creativity but unless or until it takes a independent division there is a serious process of continuously thinking happen it is not possible to have imaginary division or the creative division for the park there is a there is a always a desire here i said that the first steps of creativity it possess fitted imagination the cultivate a bold desire to transform the customers offerings and break out with a conventional wisdom you know no criticism to anybody but lot of places we find till still right from admission zone to completion the same kind of a conventional method is happening now the digital the electronics and also the technology has taken over the things which has made the life so easy and it has become also more convenient for the guest where they can able to get the experience much better with much less cost i go to the next point is how to learn creativity and i have come out with a five steps very easy to understand association define our problems questions ideas associate them you know if you can able to come out with every day of five definite problems which we will face and come out with a solutions trust me a time will come that we know how we will address as soon as the we come out with this problem questioning don't feel scared to ask question you know you be on the other side of the table and start asking questions you will find solutions observe or in once you start observing when you start referring you will start understanding that how we can able to i always say that you know if i want to advise i will tell that number of mistakes i did so please don't do this mistake the so similarly if you will start observing instead of just criticizing learn from there and try to correct it network where the platform we all are share your problems share your thoughts discuss with the friends discuss with the people from the industry and trust me 
everybody will get an answer the last is experiment this industry is so wonderful it could be a price point it could be packages it could be special discounts it could be uh, low day it could be peak day one can able to do so many things uh, where you can able to experiment with a limited limited kind of a risk because if things doesn't work you can change but if it works it pays you a really big happiness and also probably the cost so these are the five things which i feel in the in the area of creativity one can able to do what is the meaning of creativity at office you know i always feel there is a mission to change the world of entertainment of my park work click quickly and whenever keep sharing ideas with the team please kill the hierarchy you know any small or big person in the organization gives any idea please respect the idea because for idea you don't required qualifications you don't required designation idea is idea and i always feel that always i feel that ensuring the one quantity quantity and quantity so more the people more the ideas more the ideas the more the success seek help from the network don't be loner please remember my friends that when you share your idea to somebody else don't get scared i always feel fortunately in this industry we have so much to achieve you know there is no competition but there will be always a collaboration which will help to each other that is reason we all are coming on a same platform and sharing the thoughts a sam the sample of seeing a business through the creative lens is is now i am coming to very specific areas where i feel that we all need to look at it that what is practical and what is required now i always felt that me as a park operator we keep the park open 365 days today the biggest challenge for all of us and worldwide this business has a humongous operational cost and we really don't know how the business models are going to be there you know you all know 2020 our balance sheet will probably show 5 months or 6 months kind of revenues i always feel scared that if my operational cost is high and if we will not able to break even you know the 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 revenues which has been lost if i keep on adding the losses in the revenues what kind of a future for capex i can look at it because this industry also requires every 3 years or 5 years to do some additional capital investments to make sure that the guest will feel like to come or they will able to revisit to us looking at it there are few thoughts comes in a mind there was a time 20 23 years ago we started we used to have a week off and afterwards we started realizing that let us keep the park open all the days of the week i coming back to the original that is it worthwhile by looking at the historical data once a week during the low season probably more days we can take a break and utilize this time for repair maintenance and also giving a week off to the guest staff and to make sure that can be able to save some operational cost how we will have a uh, uh, indoor activities some of the shows some of the things to share it to give it to the outdoor you know they always say that government may not permit the local people may not accept to keep too many things indoor so 
I always started thinking that what are the opportunities that people could be closer to the nature if they are looking for distancing, how one can able to look at that. So this comes basically on the strategy on operations. What are the thoughts without compromising the guest experience we can able to do? Now coming back to the revenues, there are a lot of options are there. You more you think, more you'll get idea. But necessity is something that if if it is a compulsory to wear a mask, can I create? Can we all create a mask as a part of a merchandising? So thought starts coming that whether it could be a mascot or it could be very interesting or it could create a kind of a, a kind of a funny thing that people will able to like to carry will be happy to wear it and also would like to buy it. I would like to look at the similar thing for the food and beverage. See, the fine dining restaurants probably will have some challenges. What is a way we can able to look at by creating something interesting, which is semi outdoor? Can we able to have some of the live counters going at the different places? Can we able to talk about the healthy food? Can we able to talk something more interesting where people would like to make sure that I would like to try it out because you all know besides the gate money or the admission fees, we all are totally depending on the revenues in the park. I also feel look and feel of the park, the signages of the park right from admission. What are the things which we need to communicate? As I mentioned it earlier, People have fear and to take the fear out, I feel the entertainment and the happiness is only a solution for it. Today, they are really not looking at it because healthcare has become a priority for them. But the time they decide to come, the time they visit the park, believe me, we should able to look at each and every part of our experience as a new experience and creating a kind of a happiness for them. Human resources. This is the area I would like to share a few thoughts on that. Friends, on our operation cost, the large cost is involved, which is under our control is human resources. If you look at the parks in the West and most successful parks, they believe, and let me also tell you, a lot of parks of India, I've started following that a permanent employees versus a contractual employment. People have gone one step ahead to create in the West a weekends and the peak season employment. They also have started working to make sure that can we able to have some part time employment because you know there are there are cast like artist there are cast which we can able to come only post park timing for repair and maintenance or something of that sort one can look at the amcs one can able to look at the other opportunities on contractual but please for the god's sake cut down as much as possible on the cost of operations in the different angles here you know make sure that your repair maintenance happens on time our colleagues earlier had presented to you how prevention and preventive maintenance can help you for your operational cost to reduce as well as you know the major safeties will come because of that but if you can kindly keep the routine as a part of your responsibility on operations, believe me, our cost of operation will certainly reduce. Go digital, reduce the paperwork. This is the worldwide is happening. I have asked question to myself, are we following it? And I feel that we all have to learn a lot from there. Is it possible that you know uh, have a multitasking and teach people to do different jobs. See, we, we work on 
a cycle where admission zone the guest comes to a part b part c part if you can able to study the entire itinerary about the guest believe me there is a possibility that the front end people can come to one section to support it and multitasking will able to help us to reduce the cost i always feel that if you look at every small thing from the lens of creativity you will start finding the solutions on that advertisement i am not expert but i have a colleague vijay i'll request vijay to take it over from here and i'll meet you once again thank you so much my friends don't treat my communication any kind of teaching or preaching it is from my bottom of heart that i have a strong belief we are going to come back with a new launch with new strategy and creativeness will help all of us thank you very much vijay to you uh, thank you sir hello everyone i am uh, vijay and i am an architect turned filmmaker and i selectively do advertising so today we are talking about you know the whole point of inducing creativity into business so you might be wondering you know advertising is already create how else we can induce creativity into it the way i see about this is anything which is stagnant for a while has scope for innovation and you know we have been in a traditional way of looking at things and we have almost mastered it in terms of advertising and because of covid 19 we have been pushed into a completely different era where things have been uh, has dramatically changed we already spoke about new consumer behavior i want to talk a little bit about the dramatic shift which has happened now and then i'll go further explaining <clears throat> how you know advertising has to take a new shape you know before all this pandemic and the crisis we had a great product and we have a great offer and that was good enough it sort of worked but now you know it that won't be sufficient anymore you know and we, we, of course we have to still have a good product and we have to good offers and we have to create all the awareness and we have to direct sales but you know one of the major factors which has happened right now is we have to tell the customers that we care you know people are looking for for organizations for anything for any product which will help them which will keep them healthy which will keep them hygienic and which will keep them away from sickness so unless we take unless any brand takes the role of being a mother and says you know you are safe with us people are not going to come to you and this will become one of the major thing which we have to do that means we have to do more work with lesser budgets we know you know uh, we have been shut down for a couple of months now so we have lesser revenues so how do we do that the first and the foremost is we have to build trust with the consumers with our customers with our guests and how do we do it in a very simple way we have to be authentic we can just fool around you know a, a glossy picture will not take us anywhere we have to be authentic and we have to really 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 understand what our customer wants it's not just the product anymore we have to understand the psychology now of course we have been doing that in advertising for a quite a bit of time now but we have to be more specific and we have to understand what this crisis has done to the customer's behavior we have to dig deep into it to get an understanding on that and once you understand we have to really really create value for customers in whatever product we do so we were talking about all the factors which where we can build trust and there's one easy medium on building a trust it can be built only when we emotionally connect see you you are walking you are walking on the street and somebody comes and hands over 100 rupees to you you won't take it right because you don't know you, you he is nobody and if he ask 100 rupees definitely you you won't trust him You're like we'll kick him out but imagine you're standing there somebody comes to you you have a conversation 
and you you are at certain point where you build some kind of trust because you are emotionally connected to him maybe he tells you a story of something and then you will be able to take his 100 rupees or you know to you go to one step ahead and you might give your 100 rupees to him so we have to tap into the emotions of customers and there are several ways to do it there are many um, emotions which you can tap into but these are the top 3 emotions which i wanted uh, to share with all of you which we all can use and i believe this will strike the chord across the globe right now first one happiness there is so much depression and gloominess all around us and if we can bring a smile on the face of our customers with our advertisement with our video then it's going to strike a chord second hope the moment this happened everybody stood up the government stood up many people stood up people came forward and they are they are ready to fight they didn't give up and the triumph of human spirit is one of the key factors across all the generations and the hope which keeps us alive that's the second emotion third is empathy empathy the solidarity you know we have strongest empathy to social workers who are fighting for us we are also empathetic to our mates they are not coming to our homes but still we are willing to pay salaries to them we are empathetic most of the people are doing it in this is in no specific order happiness hope empathy you can go in any particular order you can use one two or three of them and you can use all the combinations of it but this is what these are the key emotions which we can utilize in our advertising to connect to our customers and hopefully that will drive them back and make a decision to come back for the entertainment and when i talk about um, social media people are in a general impression i was there too for some time you know you just create one video and you can use that for traditional medium you can use for television you can use for theater put it on facebook insta and <clears throat> um, uh, you know uh, youtube and it it is going to work but it doesn't happen like that and i have i have worked with numerous <clears throat> social media uh, digital guys who take one video and just bombard it everywhere and i i made a same mistake for my feature film too when we were trying to public publicity we were just creating a same one ad and we are bombarding all over and expecting that things to happen but it won't work what we have to ensure is we have to really understand how the social media works youtube you you go to youtube and you don't look at the feed you you go with a specific purpose purpose and you search for certain thing so the video which will be created for youtube has to follow a category of somebody searching and look finding certain ad unless it's a celebrity or is something very big which forms in trending it's it's not if you don't go to youtube to find something on the feed second thing instagram instagram you don't go and search for something of course it, there's a possibility of searching but it's more when as a as a regular user you just swipe across a gallery of cool looking photographs and videos it's it's almost like an art gallery so that has a different aspect ratio it's 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 a square of course you can squeeze it into different aspects but it's predominantly a square and and it has certain limitations youtube doesn't have a limitation on video but instagram has a certain limitation so they end up cropping the same video there and it looks ugly because it it's already broken it's not meant for uh, social media everything is shot on a uh, regular hd aspect ratio and you try to put the same thing on facebook now facebook is a different beast it's not like instagram where you just have photos and videos people are yelling and screaming about a lot of things the reason why i'm telling all these factors is when we go post covid and when we get into advertising we have lesser budgets and we cannot afford to waste that those budgets on going in a traditional way without really understanding all these platforms and so one more thing i want to cover about this is we always talk about views and impressions it has got so many views and it has happened so many things Th those things doesn't mean anything unless there is some kind of interaction a person whoever 
has to look at the video and they have to react to it and better yet they should be able to share it the moment it uh, you know somebody shares that is the highest compliment a video can get so views and impressions are just the numbers and uh, there are statistics also which says you know only it's one percent really counts in terms of impressions and the views because only probably that one person has reacted to, to it and has taken some call to action on it. So when, when I'm talking about sharing being the most biggest compliment, compliment a video can get, I want to talk about the last point. Of course we have to create videos to sell our product, but more than that, post COVID, it's not only just selling is the point, we have to value our customer and we have to create a video in such a way that we are giving a value and they, sh they should be compelled to share that video to their friends and family. So when, when that is happening, you are not only creating a value for the customer, you are creating a value for yourself because your customer has just shared your video with somebody else. That's an organic growth. So with that, I want to show you a case study in the same year I worked on two different companies one was a national brand where they were able to take that brand and bombard it across all the television channels it was a huge campaign they had huge budgets in the same year I was working with a smaller company called Empower Labs it's a it's a mobile based augmented reality gaming company and they were in the very beginning, they wanted to create a video, they wanted to create an ad so people will know about it. And when they came to me, I, I heard their brief, I found their product very exciting. So I said, how about, you know, instead of creating a traditional ad, how about doing something different? You wanted to know the, you wanted people to know about your brand, right? So I said, you know, we'll do something completely out of the box. And this, this, this game is about um, uh, time travel. It, it, it has some science fiction elements into it. So I created a video as if it's, it's been recorded on a CCTV camera somewhere in the United States. But we shot this in Ramaji Film City. There was one guy who walks through the doors. And when he comes back, there is a small badge <coughs> on his left side, which has the logo of the um, of the of the game and that's it one guy goes and comes out and we took that video and we bombarded it um, across uh, blogs and a couple of influencers and we we got people to upload it and what happened is because of the of the content which is mysterious and which has some technical uh, stuff into it some science fiction stuff into it it hit two million views in two days and it was covered by all the major international websites like Huffington Post, Sun, U, uh, Sun UK, Mail Online, Mirror. It was also covered in India. And people were talking about, you know, is this guy real? And somebody were, somebody was saying, no, this guy is not real. This is done in, by visual effects. And they didn't do a bad visual effects. We deliberately cr created, uh, you know, uh, we, we took there are certain points where we did cheesy visual effects because we want somebody to catch it and whoever caught it they were pointing out to that but there was another side of argument where people were believing on time traveling and they were against it and this conversation online has given enough mileage to this company and the moment this happened we immediately followed up with a, a video where we explained about the brand and in the end we used this video as if you know the glossy looking video is a, uh, is a prequel for this video. What are the things which we did in this video which worked? One is we took a bold step. We went completely out of the box. And all the guys who were in this company are, were all millennials including the CEO and all. So they were highly willing to experiment when when I gave the idea they jumped out of the seat and they said like let's do it and they were open to testing and one of the biggest factors for them is the budget was way lower than what they were expecting it to do in a traditional way so uh, with this with this case study I want to end uh, my presentation with 
quote of uh, Steve Jobs, one of my favorite quotes, creativity is just connecting dots. We have everything right in front of us. We have to just look in a different way. Thank you very much. So I'll be taking questions. So whoever has questions, uh, you can submit in the chat box and uh, Rajiv sir will be answering it. I'll start with um, first question. This is from Ajay Kant and he is asking, do you think that in order to ensure social distancing, amusement parks can encourage guests to come on weekdays, thereby spreading out visitors over seven days as against two to three weekend days earlier? Uh, the question is something that they can come on a weekdays. Is that a right question, uh, uh, Vijay? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes, of course. See, here I would like to say that the, the cycles are going to change. There is a possibility of the timings also could change eventually. So the weekdays and weekends concept will also change. So they could come on a weekdays. They could have a different time slots or we can able to look at the different options, how we can do it. But I feel that the change we need to wait and watch. This thought started coming forward the only for the reason that once we reopen, what are the options one can able to give it to the guest was only my thought here. Okay, second question is from Utkarsh and uh, his question is to Raju sir. He, he asked it while they are closed in these five six months and can creativity help them operate profitably while operating in limited capacity post COVID reopening? Yes, you know, uh, you know, uh, my thoughts are very clear that post COVID-19 if we will use a kind of a creativity, so it, it comes to three levels. As I was mentioning that, what should be the admission? What should be the opportunities for the people to spend besides admission when they come inside? Then third, it happens that how you are able to make your creative uh, things as far as your merchandising, food and beverage and upcharge attractions. Believe me, the psychology will be there that I may not spend big money what I suspended earlier, but we should be creative enough to understand that how we will be able to get our money which is required to generate when they visit the park. Believe me, all of us know that visiting the park is a lifetime experience and there is a pressure on spending, but you require creativity to make sure that you will give an opportunity for the guests to spend money when they come to your place. Uh, this question is from Ashwin and uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to answer that question. He asked, always ensure you have one outrageous idea. Can you give some examples? So basically, see, whenever, whenever uh, that is actually, that is, uh, whenever I go with certain kind of advertising, what I try to do is when I go to a client, I tell at least four to five options. Out of them, four, I'll keep it relevant to what they are actually trying to achieve. And fifth one, I'll just... Uh, combine it with something very unexpected. I'll see that um, viral video, what I was talking about. That's an example of an outrageous idea. The client wanted to do a traditional kind of advertising or a traditional kind of video where they explain the product and they have, they wanted to explain how the game happens. Instead, I said, well, now the idea is to tell everybody that you are a brand which is coming up. So I said, don't explain about your game at all. Let people talk about your product and then we can come back and explain the video. So that is sort of an example of an outrageous idea. So the, the idea is simple. I give the four traditional things, whatever we are doing within our sphere and something which is completely out of the box. So that I mean by outrageous idea. And um, there is one more question um, to Rajiv sir from Manisha. With mm -hmm. the online booking, but limited, help, um, limited entry help in park working well. You know, Manisha, we all have observed that every park has an instant capacity and per hour capacity. As on today, we never used to observe that. A time has come which I have started studying myself to multiple areas that can be able to take a reservations for the attractions, for the entry, for the experiences. If we will able to look at it, see, we all are concerned about the bottom line or the revenues of the park. But if we will systemize the entire experience into per hour instant capacity, per hour capacity, holding capacity, 
giving an opportunity in between of attraction creating some small experiences for them this is possible according to me uh, as we are running out of time i will um, direct it over to anuj sir to take over from here uh thank you so very much uh, mr vijay and uh, rajiv sir it was uh, really wonderful and uh, mind blowing uh, things which we have discussed in and i, I think it was uh, quite beneficial to everybody and uh, as well said that you know our creativity and ideas again need to be developed and they have to be your own uh, genius mind which uh, has to work in about this uh Uh, is anybody having any questions or uh, they want to say something about it uh, may i request uh, uh, mr prem das to say something about it uh, could you please unmute mr prem das if you want to say something about it uh, host could you please uh, unmute uh, mr prem das Uh, yes, he is unmuted, sir. Uh, Mr. Pridhus, can you hear us? Uh, anybody else who wants to ask any question, he can uh, probably raise his hand. Mr. Basket Joshi, if you want to ask him something or say something about it. Uh, please uh, unmute Mr. Basket Joshi, please. Yeah. Hi, it's a very good, uh, you know, session and. Uh... good to know you know what i like about is a one day off as we know tuesdays and thursdays are our uh, you know uh, lean days even kirjania does kirjania is off on mondays mostly which help to reduce our uh, you know cost of manpower plus pre booking is one which is a very good idea given by manisha to start with we can have only pre book yes of course we can go with uh, we can't turn around and say you know you are not entertained but we have to we have to look into it that uh, we do more digital marketing and more booking so that one we are assured that n number of people are coming and we can plan accordingly second if somebody comes in definitely we will give we can't turn around some money which is coming into us but looking at uh, current scenario i think pre booking is very good option we have to educate people and contact less entry this is you know where anul sir will uh, come handy his solution of entry which is contact less entry will help us uh, to move forward i uh, surely i would try to do in best uh, um may i have the next question from uh, uh, could you please unmute uh, mr utkash please Answer. Yeah, am I audible? Yeah, Mr. Oscar, please continue. A great session. I am so glad that Rajiv sir could bring uh, the term imagineering into the discussion, and uh, looking at the creativity through Disney's perspective, I really like that we are uh, discussing that in the Indian amusement industry also. Uh, thank you so much for that. And. Uh, Yeah, I, I had a very quick question to Mr. Uh, Vijay. Uh, could you share any uh, idea while you were coming up uh, about the Bahubali uh, attraction at your uh, uh, Ramji Films team? Uh, could you share any crazy idea uh, which might not got implemented uh, during the attraction? Uh, just a quick thought. Um, yeah, we have one idea which we wanted to implement in phase two. This is um, see basically we designed the entire Bahubali attraction. We have uh, designed the sound for it, so we sort of created an ambience. So whichever place you go, there is some kind of ambient sound to it. So uh, now that keeps uh, guests engaged all over, and there is a pyramid uh, in the in the center where there is a lot of chariots and all, and it's about uh, around fifty feet tall. So the outrageous idea is you know when when guests are doing their you know enjoying bahubali there will be sudden uh, disconnection of the sound the ambient sound which will create pin drop silence and then we'll have dramatic music and bahubali will appear on top of the pyramid so this is one outrageous idea technically difficult too which we are trying to implement okay uh, we have another question uh, from mr shiva ramakrishnan Uh, what about spectator management how they can enter touchless um there is a the question is something that how the 
how the guest can enter touchless yeah see uh, there is lot of uh, research is happening between the parks like disney and universal studio yesterday only ayapa has sent some brilliant ideas where the the face mapping has been done if you subject to as manisha has said that if you have done your reservation through the digital there is a there is a probably it will according to me it will eventually become a kind of a compulsion that you book it online you have your kind of a qr code or something of that sort so it becomes easier for the entry then what happens that you buy a ticket you go through the turnstile you go through the safety tunnel and you enter it these are the fundamental processes which will happen to enter the park but beyond that i don't see think that there is any possibility to do a touchless kind of a thing only the 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 physical intervention is required as the maintenance of hygiene the cleanliness all will be required but until the admissions are there this is possible to be done that's what i feel about it at this time uh, i'll probably add in a word to what rajiv sir said uh, yes uh, when we have people coming in so many guests coming in and uh, unfortunately the virus which we are talking about uh, it stays longer on stainless steel and we have uh, uh, lab bars shoulder bars q railings everything in stainless steel so uh, you know you can't be avoiding in a touchless everywhere but yes we need to take precautions and we need to take care of it so probably with the, this i'll uh, probably uh, end in the session may I request the host to uh, load in the feedback form please your feedbacks on this particular issue whatever feedback you given will be recorded properly and will be you know working on it uh, so that you know best possible can be delivered whatever suggestions you can given the suggestions are welcome and uh, you can uh, even drop in a mail to uh, training committee or to padma uh, they'll try to help you out or we'll try to address the issue in the upcoming sessions so uh, everyone if you have already filled up the form uh, please be informed that the next session as promised uh, we are having two sessions a week so the next session uh, would be held on 11th of may 2020 at 4 pm uh, mr dinand bakshi joint ceo of magica world entertainment would be taking up the session uh, the session is to improve revenue and brand uh, presence with much dancing and uh, once again i'd like to thank uh, rajiv ji and mr vijay uh, thanks a lot for sharing in such immense knowledge and uh, you know keep making us updated uh, so far on this and definitely i'd like to request everyone to start working on it and need not wait for the parks to open and uh, you know innovations and imaginations and creativity can start while well, you're well, sitting at home also you can just uh, jot in uh, what you feel is good for the park to you know to be done in when you open up um, plan out things work out ideas even uh, you can uh, you might might be doing in certain things uh, very creative at the moment also uh, sitting at home it might be related to music or maybe playing an instrument or maybe a tiktok or something you can share in always with iap and we'll try to uh, play in uh, those uh, videos just clipping should be short 3 to 5 minutes not more than that we'll try to play it after the session so that we have more of entertainment also because we are all from the entertainment industry and definitely we need entertainment as well so uh, thank you everyone and uh, wish you a great day man would also request everybody because iip is what we all together are so i'd like to thank you and would like to request you to kindly visit iip's youtube channel on which we are posting all these videos uh, do subscribe to them like them follow them share it with your friends and do the best to for iap thank you everyone thank you so much thank you thank you sir thank you thanks a lot